All right, Mobile Suit 101 here, and uh, this is my first Gunpla-related reviewing video. So today I'm just going to show off all the kits I fully painted, and I just introduce myself a little bit. I've been into Gunpla about 15, 16 years now. Super Gundam fan. Uh, my biggest passion in Gundam is probably collecting the Mobile Suit in action figures. I'm trying to get them all. I've almost got them. Almost. Um, I just recently started painting this year. I've painted about five kits. This being my first one. This is for a Gundam. I'm part of the Gundam Quiz Forum. And this is my first painting kit for one of the contests. I think it was for Gundam Guns contest back in December. And which is why I decided to do a Christmas theme. This is the MS06 Triple X Miss Special. I, uh,. Kind of went a little crazy in the overboard. As you can see, it's a. Uh, well, you can't even see that. It's supposed to look like that. But, uh. Yeah. That's boring. That's the 1.0, so I had to go a little crazy on it. So, uh. Yeah, it's basically just to. Want to do it like a Christmas tree kind of thing. So, like brown and green, like everywhere, and then. Red and white for candy cane s kind of thing, and then all the weapons are just in uh, like gold and silver. I painted with testers for all the weapons, and then Krylon and testers for like the actual body. Turned out pretty good. I was extremely impressed for my first painting kit. I was very, very, very happy with it. A lot of people seem to like it. It's a very uh, festive design. You don't really see a lot of designs like this all around, and. Not knocking against like the professionals and stuff, but you don't really see them doing like holiday esque themes on models, so I thought it'd be kinda cool. Okay, so let's see. For my second fully painted model the my S D New Gundam. Sorry, my camera has manual focus, which is retarded. Alright, that's good enough. Um, since this is my first SD, I tried to paint it as best as I could. I mean, it's not the best, but for me, I mean, I, I was happy with it. I used testers to completely paint this, and I just used Krylon to paint the white and just paint on everything else with testers. It's, uh, testers black is really shiny, and I, I like this. I entered it for Vegeta's contest subscriber, I think 5,000 subscriber contest I, I don't remember but that's what got me the motivation to do this one and I uh, I'm, I like it SDs are fun I have a crap load of SDs I need to build in the future but so far I just got this guy yeah he's pretty cool alright now for my third fully painted kit the high grade universal century 1 to 144 Zaku 3 Masha Masama's custom yeah, that's a mouthful. I, uh, this wasn't for a contest or anything, it just, just happened. And I wanted to go, I wanted to do stock colors, but I also wanted to put my little spin on it. So all the parts you see that are blue are actually supposed to be gray. Let me get the box out for you. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. But... Yeah, I, after uh, seeing TC, he's one of the uh, mods and probably the most posting member on GE. He, uh, he's like the detailing master, in my opinion. And when I saw him do his dark horn, I just, I really, really got inspired. So I wanted to start detailing like him. So I did all like the underskirt armor and everything and added some detail like under the arms and Tried to make my wep the weapons as detailed as possible. I think the blue works rather nice instead of being gray. It's, it's cool. But yeah. I don't feel like doing an articulation thing because they're painted. Eh, I mean, it's a good kit. Buy it. It's what, number. Yeah. Number three. This is the third high grade. Super. This is the third. HGUC kit, so for its time, this thing's awesome. So buy it; it's, it's freaking awesome. 
That's right. All right, so for my third kit, a fourth kit, um, try to do a little more advanced things. It's the, uh, the Elemeth from original 0079 and here's the original SD and I went for a Haman Khan custom hence the purple and the gold I also attempted seam line removal for the first time because on my Zaku 3 I horribly failed and pretty much only filled one seam because I didn't really know how to do it this time I, I, I filled it I just didn't know how to like touch it up as well so you guys probably can see all this, this goop right up here from like the putty I use I didn't really sand it very well well, uh, the color scheme is more important to me than the actual, like, technique. But it's practice. I mean, it's an SD. I, I like it. I think, I think it worked out pretty cool. doesn't do anything. But, uh, oh, yeah, I think it's got a funnel. Oh, here we go. Yep. A little funnel. Hmm. Guess it's worth the, uh, the 400 yen. <laughs> Uh, let's see, my most recent kit, my best in my opinion so far, and probably one of my favorite kits ever because my favorite color is orange, the high grade Miguel's Custom Gin. Man, yeah, I started this guy like three months ago, and then I went, and I started working a lot more because I got a promotion, and I had school and. It's hard to, a lot of other things happen in my life too, so it was hard to find time. But yeah, I finished this guy recently in the past couple of weeks, and I I love it. I worked my ass off making bets I could. I filled all the seam lines completely. It's 100% painted. My detailing, I think my detailing skills gone off a bit. Sure, I'm I'm sort of not the best at cleaning up yet, but I'm trying. Yeah. You can see all of my work in progress and everything on the forum on G. I'll leave a link to it under the video after I finish editing. But, uh, yeah. Those are all my painted kits. And I have one more kit over here. It's not paint or anything, but it's from a while ago. It's the uh, EX Series Albion Special Edition Titanium. I think it's like 1 to 1500 or something. I don't really care to check. It's something like that. But uh, it's relevant because right now at GE we're having the Summer Wars contest right now for all the members. And you all should enter and invite everyone because GE's awesome. And for my entry, I'm working on the Levian Rose. Yeah. Dude, this thing's crazy. You can see like all the runners and stuff like over there. There's like a duplicates of so many. I'm about 30% done with the kit. It's very different from anything I've done before. There's no polycaps or anything, and it's just very a non-conventional Gundam model kit. But uh, it's it's different. I want to stand out in the contest, so I'm gonna do my best on it. And uh, hopefully, it'll be a, a nice piece that I can be proud of when I'm finished with it. So uh, that's about it. And you can expect plenty of other model views when I finish them. But for now, I'm going to be try to review all of my MSIA, so stay tuned. This is Mobile Suit 101, signing off.